Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. In this video of MS Word course, I'm going to teach you how to use shortcut menu and toolbar in MS Word. Well, these two features are pretty important in MS Word as these two options helps us to work more efficiently and more productively in MS Word. So let's get understand how to use these options and how we can actually customize these options, right? So let's get into the video. So guys, as you can see, right now I'm in my MS Word software and this is the dummy data uh, which I have added into this blank sheet, right? Now, whenever I select any content, let's say I'm just selecting one particular word, only one word. Whenever I select the word, this small toolbar comes in front of me. This automatically comes this toolbar. And whenever I click the right button of my mouse, both the options appeared this toolbar and the shortcut menu as well right so once again i'm showing you whenever i select the content so after just selecting the content the toolbar mini toolbar will automatically appear in front of me and when i click the right button of my mouse then both the options mini toolbar and the shortcut menu will appear in front of me right now what is this shortcut menu used for and what is the use of mini toolbar so when you are selecting any content and when you click the right button you will be able to see this shortcut menu and where you can uh, use some pretty frequent useful basically options that you use frequently like cut copy then paste if you are uh, copying or uh, cutting any content then you can paste it with format without format uh, then we have for font option paragraph settings then we get search option as well what is the use of search option well uh, let's say you are selecting any particular word professionally produced right this word i have selected now if i press the right button of my mouse and click directly on search it will directly search on the internet as you can see so i don't have to go on google or bing search engine in, a, in order to search about these terms right i can directly search here so this is pretty useful but you have to need uh, basically you need an internet connection for that right then we have synonyms if you have any synonym basically you have to select any single word in order to find the synonym right then you will be able to find the synonyms like this then we have thesaurus option then read aloud option is basically it will uh, read the content produced. Uh, let me just close this yeah so whatever the content you are selecting it will read aloud then translate option is there link option and if you want to add a comment in this particular content you can do that as well so tons of useful options related to the content then we have this small toolbar option where you get customization options uh, you can say text customization option because we are selecting that text right so whenever you are selecting any text you get customized options in your mini toolbar like font setting uh, font size uh, then different different kind of other settings as well color background color bullet points then capitalization and here we get some uh, alignment options as well and also you get the comment option here as well right so this is the two useful thing both are different but both are useful right now you might get annoyed sometime, sometime because of this toolbar. Let's say you want to read this paragraph and you are just selecting the paragraph and once you uh, select the content, this mini toolbar will appear automatically in front of you, right? And when you click the right button, both the options, both the features basically appeared in front of you. So you might be thinking that it, it, uh, it gets sometimes pretty annoying that uh, whenever you are selecting the content this mini toolbar appears in front of you right so uh, if you want you can remove this and how you can remove this for that you have to go to file go to options then in options you will be into the general settings defaultly you just have to uncheck this box that says show mini toolbar on selection if you uncheck this box and hit the ok button now whenever you are selecting the content the mini toolbar will not appear automatically right now if you want to appear that mini toolbar you have to press the right button of your mouse and both the options the shortcut menu and the mini toolbar will appear 
in front of you right so this is pretty handy sometimes this is pretty annoying sometimes so this is totally up to your preference let's say sometimes you want to use uh, auto uh, sub, sometimes you want to use with uh, just by selecting the content or sometimes you don't uh, don't want to use this right so you can change it accordingly now if you want to wait if you want to go back to your previous settings you just have to go to files options then in general settings you just have to check this box and hit the okay now you are back to your previous settings right you just have to select the content and the mini toolbar will appear in front of you automatically so i hope you understood how these two useful option or feature works and if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also you can share this content basically you can share this uh, playlist course playlist with your needy friends who want to learn ms word more advancedly and efficiently right with that said i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye